Hi everyone, and thank you for joining us for another episode of Ion Hako. My name is Nicole. Hi everyone, my name is Kenta. And today we will be screwing it with our twerk drivers. <laughs> <laughs> Ken said that yep. sounds like a bird. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not like a driver. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's give our viewers some insight as into our twerk drivers. Yeah. Um, so here at American Hako, we are known for our soldering equipment, desoldering equipment. We were fume extractors, that sort of thing, those sort of equipments. But we also have a CHP brand of quality assembly tools. And a few years back, we added this line of quality uh, torque drivers to the CHP lineup. And that's what we will be talking with you today. Yes. And we have different options. Yes. So let's break down the different drivers. Okay. To break it down into two kind of like <laughs> big categories, we have <laughs> brush drivers and brushless drivers. Okay. Okay. Uh, brush drivers, big difference between the two is that for brush drivers, they use carbon brushes for the action. Uh, they produce a little bit of carbon dust, whereas the brushless drivers, they don't use carbon brushes, so it's virtually maintenance free with no carbon dust and a little bit more efficient. Um, should we start out with the brush? Let's start out with the brush. So brush, in the brush series, we have a standard version and we okay. also have a direct plug-in version. Okay. For the standard version, the torque range goes from 0.26 to 21.7 inch-pounds. There are several different models available, depending on the torque range. For the brush drivers, there's also a lever start to uh, engage the action. And for the brush series, we also carry what we call a direct plug-in driver. So instead of the lever start, okay. the direct plug-in is a push to start so you push down to engage the action and it is direct plug into the wall so no separate power supply needed the brush drivers do require a separate power supply like you see here to power up the brush drivers so that's the that's a brush driver um, direct plug-in standard so for the brushless like I mentioned a little bit earlier brushless drivers don't use carbon brushes to engage the action so there's no line. carbon dust as a byproduct of the carbon uh, brushes or discs. Okay. Uh, so there's virtually uh, maintenance free. Okay. Right. And the brushless drivers are a little bit more efficient uh, compared to the brush drivers. Got it. Okay. And in the brushless series, there's also standard series. There's also several different models depending on the torque range. Okay. And for the brushless, we also carry what we call a mini driver series. A mini driver, which I have next to me right here. Yes, mini drivers are meant to be used for smaller application and also less torque torque ranges. The one on, is that the right? Yep. That one is a standard brushless driver series. It uses a quarter inch hex for the bit. And the one on the left is the mini driver series, brushless driver series. It uses a four millimeter bit and the torque range is from 0.26 to 2.6 inch pounds for the mini and 0.26 to 21.7 inch pounds for the standard. Got it. Okay. Thank you, Rick. So again, uh, brush driver, standard and direct plug-in. Yes. Brushless driver, standard and mini. Mini. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now all our drivers, as you can see, come in this red ESD safe housing. So no extra, extra orders or extra costs necessary to get that housing to be ESD safe housing. All our drivers come already equipped with ESD safe housing. Perfect. Good? Yep. Good. Good. Let's move on to the power supplies. Power supplies. For the power supplies, we have a couple different options. How many different options? Couple. Two. <laughs> so one is the airproof power supply and one is the standard power supply. Okay. What Airproofer. Airproofer. So this is the airproof power supply. It has a digital display and you're able to go into the controller and set different parameter settings. Okay. Like screw count. It can give you a screw count. It can tell you whether you've made a good screw or assembly. You can keep count of how many screws per assembly and you can put in different timings as well. You can set all those parameters into this controller unit. So it's a very nice way controller unit to keep a um, process control okay. for your assembly process. Okay. You also get a dial on the side for speed control, RPM control, 0 to 10, 
Zero being the slowest, ten being the fastest. So I'm looking at this dial, but how would mm -hmm. you change the speed? With your fingernail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Actually, with the uh, with the uh, controller sorry. comes with this tool. Okay. That you see here, and all you do is insert the tool, like so. There we go. And turn the dial zero, five, ten, depending on your settings that you desire. Okay. Very cool. So that's the airproof power supply. The other power supply that we offer is the standard power supply. Looks like this. Looks a little bit simpler. Okay. No digital display, just the on off power switch. But you still get the speed control dial on the side for brushless driver power supplies. And on the brush power supplies, you also get a slow start, fast start switch that you'll see on this area used for slow start, fast start. What do I mean by slow start, fast start? When you're on the slow start, the driver will just <laughs> But if you do the slow start, it'll go <laughs> slowly bring it up to speed. Can't do that again. So it's a <laughs> compared to Okay. Uh, so those are power supply. Let's move on to accessories, simple ones like uh, magnetizers, and right angle head adapters, okay, like the ones you have over there. So uh, on your side, we're gonna show. So those are the magnetizers that you can actually put on the bits to magnetize your bits, like so. That's for the mini. Okay. And the other one is for the standard uh, quarter inch hex bit, and the right angle head adapter. Oh, there you go. Okay. Nice. And the other one is the right angle head adapter for when people need to get into smaller confined spaces. Okay. You can use the right angle head adapter. There's also other accessories available like a uh, you, screw Rick. feeder. We also have torque meters to verify your torque once you set your torque settings. You still need to verify that you reached your correct torque settings. So you can we offer torque me meters for those people who need torque meters. And we also have this nice spring balancer. So this is the spring balancer that we offer. Looks like this. And as you can tell with this adapter plate, you can, with our spring balancer, you can not only uh, hang the drivers themselves, but you can, look at that, you can hang the power supplies onto the spring balancer. This is actually a unique feature, only available with our CHP brand of uh, quality assembly tools. We're exclusive. So what that looks like when you put it all together, it looks like this. Yep. So you have the driver, you have the power supply, all lifted up from top of your workbench. It clears up all this space on top of your workbench because operators, they have all these other tools on top of your workbench and you want to clear, try to clear up as much space as possible. So this is a very nice feature, yep. very unique to the stage piece. Absolutely. Kenta, do you want to? Yeah, might as well. So Let's I have a little demo sure. right here that I can show the viewers how the brush driver works. I have a standard driver here. And by the way, this dial is where you click and change your torque settings. Click, click, click. And then here we go. You hear that clicking? I hear the clicking. That's means, that means that your torque setting has reached its torque value. I mean, I mean, this sounds really nice, but I mean, it feels really nice too. I can do this all day, actually. I'm sure you could, Kenta. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry. So that's the brush series. I'll hand it over to Nicole because we have a smaller size screw. Yes. And she can demonstrate what the mini driver there we go. is able to do. Oh, the nerves. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> and that sounds really good. Almost as good as you can I bet you it feels good. Too. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, right. Man, I could watch this all day. Kenta. You're making me nervous. No, I really All right, and then I can reverse it. Yes, reverse. Oop. You can also reverse. There we go. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Kinta. Okay. So I can go on and on about the different uh, drivers and 
how good of a quality these drivers are. But unless, you know, people get these drivers into their hands, it's really hard for them to get a feel of, of the quality of these drivers. So, so I think- Passionate um, about these drivers, came up Kinta. With a, with a promo, right? Yes, we did. Something that we're very excited to have launched. Um, it started this month. This month. And it runs through November 27th. It's our Torque Driver Trade-In Program. Okay. You trade in any yeah. driver in any condition uh -huh. for a new CHP driver set. Any driver, any condition for a new CHP driver. For a new CHP driver set. Oh, set. Okay. Yes. So you see what's hanging right next to you? That's right a here. driver set. <laughs> So you get the driver, the power supply, and the spring balance. Yes, Kinsey, you set. are following along. Hmm. It's it's very exciting. Um, if you have something laying around that you don't use, let's say you have a driver you like don't use. Like an old use. driver, yeah. An old driver, you have the power supply. Right. You send it in to us, and you'll get credit towards a new CHP driver set. No. Wow. Kenta. Wow. This is really happening. So it's like it's like I have my car, I have my old 1995 <laughs> Civic or something. I bring it into the dealer and I could trade it in for a new one. But we're not talking about a car. Oh, we sorry. are talking drivers. about drivers. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Wow. Drivers. So if you're not using one, let's say you have an old CHP driver set. Right. It's they can do that too? It's worn out. You can trade it in and get a new, you can get credit towards a new CHP driver set, one for one. So I wanna make sure that's very clear. We do also have this on our website. So if you wanna go online for more details, you can go to HakoUSA.com. You can reach out to your local distributor for more information as well. Or if you have questions, if you have a concern, you can call into our customer support. Mm. Kenta, you're still thinking. I am thinking. So, what are you thinking? So people, if they just want to add new lines, new assembly lines, they can, of course, take advantage of our reduced pricing on our drivers. We right? already have reduced pricing, so this would just... But you're telling me on top of that, they can get additional credits if they have Correct. old drivers laying around. So we have a tier system for our driver trade-in program. So let's say you have anywhere between one and five. Yeah, let's say I got five. You have five. Perfect. You package those up with your power supply. Right. You turn those into us. Right. You can get anywhere between $200 and $400 credit towards a new CHP driver what? set. What? Wow. I, mean, yeah. I don't know about you. That sounds like a great deal. To it's me. amazing. Great deal. Just in time for the holidays. It goes until the end of November. If you have someone that you need a gift you can gift them with a CHP driver set. Ooh, ooh. How awesome is that? That's great. Christmas red. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ESD safe red too. ESD safe, very important. Okay. Um, that's, I mean, that's great. That's what, while supplies last? While supplies last okay. until the end of November. Yes, make sure you guys take advantage of this offer. Absolutely. Yeah, you wanna do a quick recap then? A quick recap. Quick recap, so CHP torque drivers, we have brush, brushless, Direct plug-in mini series for power supplies. We have the airproof power supply and we have a standard power supply. And we also carry several different options for accessories, torque meters, screw feeders, mm -hmm. torque covers, and the very important spring balancer. Yes. Being able to mount the power supply and hang the drivers themselves. Yep. Kinsa. Yes. What else? Don't forget the trade-in yes. driver program. <laughs> Take advantage of it. I mean, Take advantage. Sounds like a really great deal. Very exciting. We have the information online. You can reach out to your local distributor. You can call into our customer support, and we will be happy to assist you. Yes. One for one. one credit for one. towards a new CHP driver set. I think that does it for us. Yes. Um, thanks for participating. Thanks for watching. Yes. And, and until remember, next time, remember. Keep your eye on it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this again. Let's do this again. And remember, keep, keep your eye on, on Hako. Hako.